Oh, a new arrival! Welcome! I'm Tinkerbell, and I'd love to show you the autumn section of the magical guide to Pixie Hollow. Follow me! Hey, Tink! Oh, hi, Terrence! I'm showing our new friend around. Come with us! Sounds fun, but I have to work at the depot. Besides, I'm almost out of pixie dust. Well, me too, but I promise it won't take long. Please? Yeah, alright. Let's go! <laughs> Great! The Hall of Scepters. Look at all the blue pixie dust. It's so rare and mysterious. And it's powerful, too. The tiniest bit once restored Rosetta's garden after a tornado hit. And rumor has it, a fast-flying fairy used it to fly faster than any fairy ever has. I bet it was Vidya. You sure know a lot about blue pixie dust. I study it when I can. That's what all pixie dustologists do. <gasps> Terrence, watch out! Whoa! Whew, some autumn wind, huh, Terrence? Whew. <laughs> it sure was. Look, that fairy wrote a message for someone. It's written in the leaf alphabet which uses leaves instead of letters. Fairies use it for special occasions. Tell our new friend what it says, Terrence. Let's have tea. What a great idea. <laughs> I accept. Oh, no, Tink. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I have time for- The tea room. One of our favorite hangouts. Right, Terrence? Uh, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? They only use the finest maple leaf linens. And my favorite tea is- Chamomile with extra honey and milkweed whip. <laughs> And the tea-making fairies have some ready right now. The table-setting fairies arrange a perfect place setting and fold leaf napkins into different shapes each day. And when you see the shiny gleam on every knife, fork, and spoon, that's the work of the polishing talent fairies. Well, Tink, I really better get back to work at the depot. Wait, Terrence, we haven't told our friend about teacups, how we make them from acorns and gourds and... Hey, Tink, how would you like to show our friend a teacup that came from a dollhouse on the mainland? I love that idea! It happens to belong to my boss, Fairy Gary. And I bet if we go to the depot... Okay, Terrence, I get it. Let's go to the depot. To the depot! <sighs> yeah. We're almost out of pixie dust. We'll never make it! Blaze, can you help us? Nice one, Blaze. <laughs> you sure got us out of a jam. That was a close one. There's the teacup. Gosh, I'd love to see the dollhouse it came from. Maybe one day, Tink. So everything seems to be running smoothly at the depot, thanks to some fine tuning from a particular Tinker Fairy. And thanks to my handy Tinker tools, most of which I made from moss things. They can fix almost anything. Look, there's Fairy Gary. He's busy with his checklist, making sure every fairy in Pixie Hollow gets their daily cupful of dust. I better check in. But fairies don't have to come here for dust, do they, Terrence? Nope. If a fairy is sick or is especially busy, we deliver. In fact, there's the delivery route for my shift today. Since my work here keeps me plenty dusty, I don't need a daily cupful. Of course, I hadn't worked my shift yet, so I almost ran out of dust. Right, Tinkerbell? <laughs> That's the story, all right. And speaking of stories, there's one more stop on our tour. Come on! Fairy Tale Theater, where some of the most magical stories are told. Like this one, based on true friendship. Okay, Tink, I really have to go to... Wow. Huh. Now how does this story go, Tinkerbell? Well, these two fairies are best friends, and one of them is trying to apologize for making the other one late for work, and causing him to almost run out of dust. <laughs> okay, Tink. I accept your apology. Thank you, Terrence. And let's thank our friend for joining us today. We hope to see you again soon. Goodbye! Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the Anna's Mom Circle button and check out these other great videos. Have a beautiful day. Bye! It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah.